Well, now let's look at the types of partnerships and the types of partners. Well, there can be two types of partnership, partnership at will and a particular partnership. Basically, they are divided into the time periods of a partnership. Partnership at will is a partnership with no time limit defined by the partners for the partnership. Such a firm can dissolve by any partner giving a notice in writing to all the other partners that his intention is to dissolve the partnership. A particular partnership on the other hand is a partnership which was created for a specific undertaking like constructing a road or a project of a railway line. As soon as the objective is completed, the partnership comes to an end. Now let's look the various types of partner. The first is an actual partner or an ostinable partner. He is a person who has become the partner by agreement and is actively involved in the particular partnership business. He is the agent and also the principal like all other partners. He also has the binding power for any act done by him. The second is the sleeping or the dormant partner. He is a person who does not take active part in the conduct of the business, but like every other partner invests the capital and shares the profit of the business. He is equally liable to pay any debt to the outsiders of the firm even though his existence is kept a secret. One big difference between active and sleeping partner is that the retirement of a sleeping partner, he does not need to give a public notice, unlike an active partner. After his retirement, he is not liable for the acts done by the firm. Nominal partner. He is a partner who does not invest in the business. Neither does he share the profits of the business and also does not take any part in the management of the business. So you might be wondering what exactly does he do? Well, he lends his name, meaning goodwill to the firm. The firm benefits by using his name. Suppose if tomorrow I somehow convince Mark Zuckerberg to lend me his name for a partnership. Suddenly a lot of people would start buying and dealing with me as they would feel that a powerful person is my partner. However, nominal partners are liable to the outsiders for any debts of the firm. Nominal partners are separate from sleeping partners. Nominal partners don't share profits of the firm but are known at large to the world while sleeping partners are sharing profits and their existence is kept as private. But both are liable to the outsiders for the debt of the firm. Partners in profit only. Certain partners enter into partnership only to an agreement that they will share only the profits and will not take any losses. These partners are partners for profit only. Nevertheless, they are also liable to the outsiders for the debts of the firm. Subpartners, where partners agree to share his profit derived from a firm with a third person. That third person is called as a subpartner. This third person cannot hold himself to be a partner. Also, he has no rights against the firm and no liabilities for the firm. Partners by estoppel or holding out. When a person either represents himself to be a partner in a firm or knowingly permits himself to be represented as a partner in a firm, he is liable like any other partner of the firm to other persons who had faith in that representation and gave credit to the firm. Let's take an example to understand this better. Suppose your dear friend Akshay grows up to be the manager of Bank of India. At a party, you introduce your manager friend to Mr. Sagar who is a trader of cloth. You say, Hi Mr. Sagar, meet my friend Akshay 
who is a manager at Bank of India and also my partner. Now, in reality, he is not your partner. But still, when you introduced him as your partner, he did not say no. This is partnership by holding out. Now, if Mr. Sagar sent you goods worth rupees 1 lakh on credit, not only you, but your friend Akshay would be liable to Mr. Sagar. So, if a person represents himself or lets others believe that he is a partner, which actually he is not, and the other person relies on it and gives any credit, both you and the other person would be liable and this is called as partnership by holding out or estoppel. The next is an outgoing partner. An outgoing partner is a person who is retiring from the firm. If he is an active partner, he needs to give a public notice of his retirement, else he would be liable for the debts of the firm even after his retirements. 